Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happenings and uh, well as you know what I am going to speak about it is going to be the first 2020 match of the series only two 2020s being played as I said yesterday in my preview that Subrato Rai Sahara Stadium in Pune was hosting their first international match well it definitely finished in an Indian victory in fact India had uh, a very comfortable victory I would say uh, in this 2020 match against England at the, uh, at the new stadium by actually winning by five wickets and actually now uh, there's only one more to go uh, so that is probably England would like to actually level the series well as far as uh, this match is concerned India were the ones who actually won the toss uh, and uh, actually put the opposition into bat and England uh, they didn't have a good start uh, Michael Lumb uh, struggled with his timing and uh, eventually he was out as he was LBW bowled Ashwin for one of ten balls so that was the first wicket to go but after that uh, it was uh, really, really scintillating stuff uh, from uh, Alex Hales, uh, who was uh, doing the straight hitting pretty good. Uh, Luke Wright, as you know, he's a very good hitter of the ball, so he was playing some uh, beautiful strokes. And both of them uh, had actually taken the run rate to almost uh, 10 and over, uh, the way they were playing. They were going at a 10 runs clip and probably 6 or 7 overs because uh, they were slamming all the ballers. In fact, Parvind Ravana had a very, very... Uh, unimpressive debut, his two overs cost him 29 runs and Alex Hales and uh, Luke Wright actually uh, pushed the score on to 89 now uh, I mean the way Alex Hales played as I said the straight hitting was very very good uh, and uh, Luke Wright was also playing some good strokes and this was the time where India really came into the match because uh, if, if you look at the score they were 89 for one uh, at, at one stage and when they lost to Luke Wright's wicket and this was uh, Yuvraj Singh who came in and actually not only applied the screws to the England batting but also picked up the wickets in fact he went on to uh, take uh, a very impressive analysis of four overs 19 runs and just three wickets but he took the three wickets first he actually uh, broke that very very important stand between Alex Hales and Luke Wright by actually picking up first the wicket of Alex Hales in fact what he was doing was he was fighting the ball and as far as Alex Hales was concerned well, he missed the line of the ball. He was clean bowled by Yuvraj Singh for 56. It was a very nice knock. Third 56 of just 35 balls. Seven fours and two sixes. Uh, and after that, uh, it was uh, the partner uh, Luke Wright also falling to the pavilion. As I said, Yuvraj Singh was luring the batsmen to their doom. And they were, uh, f uh, they, they were really, really uh, falling uh, apart here as Luke Wright actually holed out to Rahani in the deep who was actually uh, taking the catches with pinpoint precision. So he was gone, caught Rahani in the deep bowl, uh, Yuvraj Singh for 34 of 21 balls, 3 fours. And after that, Ian Morgan was a very, very big wicket for Yuvraj Singh. As Ian Morgan tried to clatter Yuvraj Singh into the stands, only got, um, uh, I mean, di didn't get the distance. And uh, Ian Morgan uh, catch was uh, once again taken by Ajinkya Rahani. In fact, he took, uh, for, uh, uh, in fact, he took two, one, two, two more catches after that. So Ian Morgan was gone for five. And then Samit Patel uh, came into bat and along with Joss Butler. And uh, that was the time, I mean, at that time the score was 100 for 4 when Morgan departed in the 13th over. And then uh, finally it was Samit Patel and Butler. Uh, Butler absolutely meant business. Samit Patel uh, also hit 1-4 and 1-6 in his knock of 24 uh, before being claimed by Dinda. Dinda actually coming in and dismissing, uh, 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 getting two wickets there in quick succession in a single over. As Samit Patel was caught by Rahane. Rahane once again coming to the picture, uh, taking the catch in the deep. Uh, very well judged catch and Samit Patel was gone for 24. Uh, Josh Butler was joined by Bresnan but Bresnan uh, continued his very unimpressive showing in India as Bresnan also hold out to the deep. Kohli actually taking a very good catch. It was a catch which was coming low down uh, in the deep but it was very very well held by Kohli uh, but he actually made it look very easy and Bresnan was gone for a duck and then it left uh, Josh Butler to wield the long handle to good effect. In fact the as you know, he is very fam famous for his uh, butt scoops and what that's what he did. He actually scooped uh, Parvind Ravana for two sixes uh, and then he also slammed him for another six uh, over the fence uh, straight down the ground. And Josh Butler, what was good about him was he was really moving in the crease, uh, making the baller really rework their lengths and Josh Butler took immense advantage out of it and he was responsible for the English score, England score actually reaching 157 for six with Butler's contribution an unbeaten 33 of just 21 deliveries but it included three sixes and absolutely no boundaries. Treadwell was not out on one, 157 for six and James Treadwell was making his T20 debut today and for India 
it was Parvin Ravana who was actually making his uh, debut and Stuart Meeker was also making his debut for England. So 157 definitely uh, England would have not liked it at all because if you look at the way Alex Hills and uh, Wright were playing 89 for 1 uh, in the halfway mark at 10 overs you would have expected much more than this probably in excess of 175 but actually England could muster only 157 thanks to Yuraj Singh as I said coming in and applying the screws to the English batting and not only that also picking up wickets 3 for 19 for him uh, Dinda uh, was uh, was good 3 overs no maiden 2 for 18 for him Ravi Chandra Ashwin uh, took the wicket of Michael Lump 4 overs 1 maiden 1 for 33 Parvind Ravana had a very very uh, not a good debut at all 2 overs meant for 29 runs he was uh, uh, he was hit all over the park Jadeja 3, or two or 3 overs cost him 22 Pierce Chavla 3 overs went for 24 runs and 1 over bowled by Virat Kohli uh, cost him 10 runs and England scored 157 as I said they could have made much more than this but uh, uh, thanks to Yuvraj Singh coming in and derailing the England innings there and that's the precise reason England finished with 150 and would have definitely definitely wanted to make excess of 175-80 if they had to really challenge this target. For India the target was 158 runs in 20 overs at a clip of 8 point uh, uh, probably uh, the, the run rate that they required uh, at that particular time uh, in 20 overs uh, was uh, if, you, if you look at the run rate uh, that England put at 7.85 runs and over but India actually went at 8.85 runs and over and actually won the match very very comfortably. It all started with Gambhir and Rahani actually opening the innings. Uh, Gambhir uh, well uh, looked good in his uh, 16 of as many balls but he was claimed by Bresnan. Gambhir actually was uh, caught by heads of the bowling of Bresnan for 16. Ajinkya Rahani entertained the crowd uh, with some two lovely sixes. In fact he hit 1-6 uh, of the bowling of Bresnan. 1-6 was hit of the bowling of uh, Dernbash. His contribution was 19 runs of just 13 deliveries, two sixes included in that effort. So Ajinkya Rahane also fell to Bresnan. Bresnan took uh, two wickets for 26 runs. Uh, Virat Kohli uh, played some, in fact all the batsmen chipped in. In fact everyone went business. Virat Kohli went on. There was some good running between the wickets for India too. And Virat Kohli's contribution was uh, 21 runs of 17 balls with two fours. Uh, he was the first, uh, the debutant uh, Stuart Meeker's first wicket. In fact, Meeker got his first international wicket as Stuart Meeker in 2020 internationals as Virat Kohli was clean bowled by Meeker for 21 of 17 balls to 2 fours. Yuvraj Singh uh, came in and he slammed some good sixes. In fact, uh, he hit uh, Danny Briggs, the left arm spinner, out of the attack. Uh, he, in fact, uh, Danny Briggs bowled only one over which cost him 18 runs as Yuvraj Singh went in uh, and hit 2 six and 1 four of the bowling of uh, Danny Briggs. Uh, one was a flick shot, the other one was um, put over mid-wicket and then he also hit uh, one more six uh, of the other bowler, I uh, thought it was Dernbach, uh, that was another six, so three sixes included in that with two boundaries and Yuvraj Singh's contribution was 38 runs of just 21 deliveries, two fours and three sixes uh, and uh, when Yuvraj Singh's wicket was taken by uh, Luke Wright, India was 93 for three and then uh, Kohli departed 110 for four but after that uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni and uh, Raina made sure that India are definitely going to win this match with Suresh Naina making 26 of 19 balls with 1-4 and 1-6 he was unfortunately run out by Morgan for 26 Dhoni actually finished it off uh, with an unbeaten 24 to his name of just 21 deliveries with 2 fours. Jadeja was not out on not India comfortably going to a victory in the first T20 international at the, at the new uh, uh, Subrato uh, Sahara Roy Sahara Stadium here in Pune 158 for 5 in the 18th over India had completed the job as far as the bowling figures were concerned, Dernbash 3 overs went for 27 runs, which was costly. Bresnan was the wicket taker, 226. Stuart Meeker, uh, a debut, which, uh, uh, but still you would be happy that you took uh, the, uh, the in-form batsman Virat Kohli's wicket, 3.5 overs, no made in 1 for 28. Treadwell 4 overs went for uh, 31 runs, uh, and no wicket was a bit costly. Danny Briggs was uh, totally hit out of the attack by Yuvraj Singh uh, by slamming him for 18 runs of the solitary over he bowled and Luke Wright 3 overs cost him 24 runs with a wicket and the man of the match uh, definitely for his batting of 38 runs and then you know really really putting the lid uh, on this English batting when Alex Hales and Luke Wright were really going along like a train uh, was the precise reason that Yuvraj Singh rightly deserved the man of the match. Now uh, so the second T20 match uh, is going to be starting I'm just trying to see I don't have the information right now but uh, definitely uh, probably one or two days time and now I'm just going to talk about some uh, cricket news here as I have some time uh, tomorrow South Africa and New Zealand 
are clashing in the first T20 match uh, over here. Uh, that's the that's the news uh, that we have. I'm not going to do any previews right now. I'm just wanting to give you the information. Uh, but as you know, uh, New Zealand would be uh, pretty happy uh, with what they did because uh, what they uh, precisely did is they actually um, with their with their team they actually beat the South Africa A team, uh, which was uh, I thought it was a good achievement. Like looking at the youngsters, Colin Munro and uh, uh, the other one, um, McLenahan, who actually the left arm spin seamer who bowled well. So uh, definitely South Africa will be wary and they would like to put their best foot forward. So we'll have a good game there. So that's the first T20. I'll be back with a full match report on that match tomorrow. Uh, besides uh, the other news uh, that is uh, coming up, as you know, the Bangladesh Premier League is about to start and uh, uh, Shakib has been named, uh, has been, uh, I mean, Shakib has been the top pick there. Uh, the other news that I have for you uh, is, um, as you know, uh, Hyderabad IPL team uh, is going to be uh, known as the Sun, Sun Razors. And uh, Tom Moody, the Australian um, uh, Australian player, uh, has been actually he's also a creative commentator now. So he has been the person who is going to be coaching the Hyderabad IPL team. And the mentor will be uh, the former chief of selectors of India, uh, Krishna Majari Shri Kant. Uh, and uh, the other news that is coming in is uh, from South Africa that Vernon Philander, uh, who is in doubt for the first Test match uh, between uh, New Zealand and South Africa, which is not good news because uh, Philander is something that South Africa would definitely, definitely want because he's a very good bowler. But for New Zealand too, there are injury problems because uh, that's a big blow for New Zealand according to me. And really, really, um, you know, even though if they had an iota of a chance with South Africa, that would have been Tim Saudi's bowling. But uh, Tim Saudi they're going to miss because he bowled splendidly in Sri Lanka. And Tim Saudi is going to be, unfortunately, um, not there. He's not going to be there for the test series with New Zealand and South Africa, which is not good news for New Zealand. So that's some news which I'm carrying on here. Uh, the other than that, uh, well, I'm trying to just see whether there's any other news that I have to cover. Unfortunately not. Also on this note, with India actually taking the first T20 match against England at the Subratorai Sahara Stadium in Pune, uh, this is your host round, ending the cricket show for today, but promising you that I'll be back with a full match report on the first T20 match uh, of the series between New Zealand and South Africa. Until then, it's your host round saying goodbye. Thank you.